Hi. I am sad to report that yet again we had another horrible night of sleep. Yes. Mm -hmm. Apparently you slept, you slept enough. I'm sorry if the rest of the world does not function in one to two hour increments of sleep windows. You know, I'm really good at solving problems. That's one of my fortes. I love to research problems, experiment. I'm very good at, at testing new things. Yes. So, I've done everything. We've tried more clothes, less clothes, hotter, colder in the room, white noise. No white noise, fan going, no fan going. Door closed, door open. More naps during the day, less naps during the day. What you done early, we've tried to put you down late. I've tried different techniques to settle you down. Try to let you even cry it a little bit. Yeah, I've tried it all. And so far it just keeps getting worse. Good morning by you. At least you didn't wander the hole with meowing again last night. Thank you. Are you going to chew on Katie's foot? Katie says, no, don't eat my foot. <laughs> I does not like the loud noises that Eddie can make. <laughs> okay, so the floor bed. What's up with that? Why do we have your bed on the floor? Before Addie was born, I had done a lot of research on the Montessori method for raising a child. Um, I can't say I've really thoroughly researched it because somebody came a lot earlier than I expected. I haven't done everything Montessori by any means, but slowly I've tried to implement different aspects of it that I like. Um, and we may do more and more as time goes on. Uh, one thing that really intrigued me was the floor bed idea. Because she came early, and because we knew she was going to be coming in the cold months, we went ahead and did the crib to start with, and I figured we could do the floor bed later on. The concept behind the floor bed is that it really helps to teach them independence at a young age, and it also helps them learn their relationship to the environment. When you pick them up from a crib and lift them out and take, and take them places, they have a harder time understanding their relationship to the environment. And the Montessori method says, help them be independent from the start. Having the bed on the floor, they learn how to move around in their environment without having to be carried. Um, they also learn to get up and go play with their toys. And so you put everything um, at a level that they can reach. You baby proof the entire room. So essentially the room sort of becomes a giant crib. I'm gonna put a baby gate at the door and I do need to finish um, uh, baby proofing some of the plugs and things like that, like uh, the cords. That's the basic idea behind the floor bed is that you're teaching them independence from an early age. It makes it easier for them to go to a toddler bed. Um, they transition a lot easier. They learn the edge of the, the bed quicker. Right now I have a pool noodle underneath the sheet there to keep her from rolling out until she's got a little bit more control over her movements. Um, I'm also still monitoring her movement through a, um, a baby monitor. This one is called the Angel Care Movement Breathing Monitor, basically. It detects movement on the bed, so if she gets off the bed, the alarm will go off. So for now, she really just has the bed on the floor, but she's not going anywhere. Um, as she becomes more mobile, I'll go ahead and take that out and uh, let her do as she pleases. But but right now, if she falls out of the bed, she's not really good at uh, repositioning herself, so I'm keeping the monitor on. Her sleep trouble started long before we did the floor bed. Uh, she was doing the same sleep patterns in the crib as she is on the floor. The one good thing about having it on the floor is that I can actually sit on the floor or lay on the bed a little bit, and um, it makes it so much easier to try and soothe her back to sleep and stuff with her down on that level. So that's been a, a plus. A lot of people use a bigger bed, like say a twin or a full-size bed on the floor, and then they can sleep with the baby. Yeah. 
I'm also working on simplifying the room a little bit more, so I'd like to get the closet cleaned out and get some of this stuff moved into the closet. But the idea is to keep things very orderly and simple for the baby and look at it from their level. It helps them understand the world better and keep their mind from being too busy. I try to only have a few toys out at a time and I rotate them. So we're working on it. Sometimes it's some of it's a lot of habits and I still need to work on the room a little bit, but we're getting there. The whole tenant behind Montessori stuff is that Teach me how to do it myself. We'll see how it goes. Some people have a lot of luck with it, and some people, as the babies become more and more mobile, they have trouble getting their children to sleep. So we'll see how she does. Right now, she doesn't seem to care. She's, like, fine with it. But <laughs> we'll see what happens. I can always go back to the crib if I have to. Right? These two are bonding in the sunbeams. What are you two up to? What's up, sun buddies? Hmm? Yeah. Miss Mia May. Good morning, Dee Dee. Say hi to the interwebs. You two, what are you doing up there? Okay. They're being ornery. They've been ornery the last few days. I think the weather is getting cooler. Lots of chasing and wrestling going on around here. Fresh air in. Oh, what are you doing? Are you smiling? <laughs> so I have to laugh. I bought this a while back. This is our basket of soft toys. But I bought this vegetable set from IKEA. And it's got mushrooms. Lettuce. The lettuce is kind of cute. It's got a little Velcro on it. This is technically not her age group, but we're fine right now. Um, it's got tomatoes. I think this is cucumber being sliced into. Uh, it's got a garlic clove. And then it's got a leek. But I'm sorry, this is the oddest looking leek I have ever... It's, it's just... It's just not right looking. We're sitting here enjoying some pork in one of my tapioca flour wraps with some guacamole. My lettuce was looking kind of scary, so no lettuce. We got the dog and the cat in the tube. Missy likes lying in this room on this blanket. This is this is her thing. She's like, it's cool. He's cool. Are you smiling at the dog? Mia peeping in the tube. Mia. You're purring. Come on, what are you doing? No, we're not going to play wand right now. Mom's going to eat. Mia, you're very cute and you're very convincing dragging your things out of your toy box, but I can't play right now. You're cute. It's purr. These are refreshing. They're, I mean, they're not the prettiest looking thing, but they really are refreshing. Yes. Salad in a cup. Buy you. Would you like some green juice? No? No? Okay. Mia? <laughs> We're surrounded. Hi, Reese. You feel less included? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we're practicing our high-pitched high squeals today. Yep. Uh-huh. I see that little head back there. Excuse me. Did you notice me using the board today? Oh, moving things around. Okay, off the counter, you even got dinner already. Oh, are you just hungry? You are doing awesome. Daddy's gonna be excited when he sees you. Oh. 
Oh. Can we master this skill and move on to uh, mastering naps and sleeping through the night? <gasps> Ooh, that would be really awesome. That'd be even more cool, wouldn't you think? Yeah. Look at you go. All by yourself. I knew it was going to happen in a day or two. Look at you go. Munching on some vegetables because they're cold and they're fun to munch on. Oop, don't drop it. And those little feet are going a million mile a minute. It's kind of cute. Want your salary back? Sorry. What's with the little feeties? And we're done. You figured that out pretty quick. And if there's something she wants, she doesn't drop it. Because she's probably nommed on that celery for a good 10 minutes. She's done. I'm dropping it now. I'm done. Over it. Okay, Miss Mia. I'm almost done editing. Vlogception. We can go get third meal. So you can stop destroying the house. A second ago, she just jumped up and totally scratched my leg. And I think tomorrow we'll do nail trims on everybody because obviously you need it. Yes. <coughs> right. We'll get you third meal. Okay. Okay. We're gonna get third meal. <coughs> yeah. Hold on one sec. I gotta talk to the interwebs. <coughs> so my mom's coming up for the next couple of days. Um, I don't know how great I'll be about filming, but promise is a promise. So I will film and I will edit and I will get the vlogs up. Hopefully they're not too short. And Everything's kind of orange red kind of in here. Yeah. All right, before there's a mutiny on my hands, good night. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> I got double rollers in here. I got a Mia and an Addy, Addysaurus. Am I going to have to step in here, you two? Hi, right, you two calm down. <laughs>